it going, you beauties? It's producer guy Phil, and we are back with some more NHL 19 content. Wow. Okay, so a little bit off the top here. I don't know why I'm so like kind of flamboyant over the top today. Like, wow, so ba 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 ba. All right, let's just be real. We got a trade to talk about. We have a trade to announce. And nice and easy. Um, I'll explain it right now. The Pittsburgh Penguins trade Phil Kessel in a fourth round pick in exchange for Alex Galchenyuk and Pierre Olivier Joseph. I could be wrong, could be Oliver. I think it's Olivier. Oh, wow. Arizona, look at you, Arizona. All right. You, uh, you might be able to make some noise in this division now. You just got yourself Phil Kessel. Uh, Barrett Hayton's on the rise. You know, you still have Oliver Ekman Larson, Christian Fisher, Christian Dvorak. Uh, Nick Schmaltz is pretty good as well. You have some uh, some potential now, Arizona. Well done, John Chaka. Uh, good, good on you, man. Good on you. And Pittsburgh getting Alex Galchenyuk and basically shedding salary cap. And it's been really cool to kind of think that over the last couple days that you know how. There's, like, different things that each team, like, really badly wants. Some teams, like, draw need defense. Some teams need better offensive depth. Some teams need goal scoring. There's one consistent thing that all teams really kind of want, and a lot of teams have a lot of this, and that's cap space. And there he is right there, Phil Kessel. What a stud. And cap space has become so vital, so important over these last couple seasons with especially young players becoming so good that they actually like demand more money and good on them because they're good players you know they're good men good players good pros and let's see if this team can be carried to the cup so we got uh clayton keller uh nick schmaltz and phil kessel okay could do some damage henestroza derek step on richard ponick oh okay never mind after that top line it drops immediately michael grabbed hey michael grabbed and phil kessler teammates again interesting uh, and richard ponick all right we got the oh uh we got the 14 15 leaves here christian Dvorak, christian fisher and then brad richardson nick cousins and lawson kraus i don't know if cousins is on the team but you know what this is my video we're going with it all of reckman larson uh nicholas jalmerson jason demers uh yakub chikrin alex goligoski and jordan i'm not even gonna try on that one so good on me and then Auntie Ranta and Darcy Kemper with Calvin Pickard as, I guess, the backup's backup or something. But there we go. Those are the lines. And let's let's kind of break this trade down a little more. So, like I said, you get a really good scoring, talented winger in Phil Kessel. I mean, he's still in his prime. He can still pot a bunch of goals. He can pot a bunch of points, man. It's Phil Kessel, you know. You're not going to go wrong with uh, Phil. He's a two-time Stanley Cup champion, don't you know? And for the Penguins, you get some uh, cap space alleviated. What did the, um, what did Castle, what was Castle's, ca not Castle, what was Kessel's cap hit off the top of my head? Uh, 6.8, I believe it was, 6.8. So that's, uh, you know, some decent uh, cap relief. Actually, before I go on, I want to look up what um, Alex Galchenyuk uh, cap hit was making because obviously, um, it won't be that, I guess, too crazy cap relief. But let me just see what Galchenyuk was making. Um, bu -bu 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 oh, wow. It's not even on cap friendly yet. Interesting. All right. So I got to go back to the Arizona Coyotes page to see what Galch was making. Someone's screaming it right now. Like, Phil, it's this. And I'm like, well, poop. All right. So Galch is only making 4.9. Okay. So I get temporary cap relief now. Of uh, looks like just over two million, just sorry, just under two million, and basically they're gonna get Alex Galchenyuk. That's a pretty good youngish winger on your uh, top six there. And stop trying to trade me, Nick Patan. Darn it, man. There's a reason that he wasn't being played. Okay, <laughs> and I'll give you one reason. He kind of sounds like this. Stop trying to trade me, Nick Patan, Kyle. I don't need it. But Pittsburgh getting Alex Gutchenek's pretty good, you know. They basically traded Cap and a little bit of age for a little bit younger. I don't think he's going to be as potent as a goal scorer. But Alex Gutchenek can still make some noise, man. He's still a pretty good player in this league. Speaking of not making noise, um, so the Arizona Coyotes are currently not making any noise. 
as we are, what is that, 16, 18, and 5. Let's just pray the uh, Pacific is literal garbage, which I doubt. Can we at least break 500? Like, loss, 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 win, loss. Stop trying to trade me, man. I don't, I've never had someone did this. I had to turn trades off, too. Ugh. Can the deadline just hurry up, please? But all right, let's... Uh, <laughs> a 500 Maple Leafs team. Okay, yeah, bud. Maybe, with no, maybe without Mitch Marner, but okay. A Kessel, all right. Leading the team in points with 19 goals, 23 assists for 42 points. Clayton Keller, 34. OEL, 33. Nick Schmaltz, 27. Uh, Stepon, 23. Hinnestroza. This is like the uh, Maple Leaf uh, Blackhawks hybrid. The uh, Arizona Kai... I uh, can't even make a bad joke pun about it. It's so terrible. But, yep. Yeah, so there's our scores. How's goaltending looking? I, mm, I don't know if I... Uh, Ooh, 896, Darcy Kemper. Please get me a win, sir. 3-2-1 uh, goals against and a 912 save percentage for Rots with a 2.66 GAA. Yikes, okay. That's not terrible, but it could be a slightly better. Like, it's okay at best, I would say. But so let's just keep uh, going on here. Maybe we can make some noise in this playoffs, but... Who do I see? Everyone has this thing. Uh, who won the trade? Who won the trade? I hate that argument. If it benefits both teams, why does there have to be like a winner and a loser? I mean, Arizona was close to making the playoffs. And you just gave that team Phil Kessel. And they didn't really have to sacrifice anything, you know, crazy. Like, yeah, Alex Galchenyuk. But, I mean, that's, I guess, kind of an even-ish trade. You're going to get... Uh, more goal production from Kessel. Uh, you're going to get, I guess, what I say? Leadership? Like, he's an older guy, but is he really, like, a leader? Um, and then, holy crap, stop trying to trade with me. Dale Towns now in the mix, too. All right. But you're going to get more goal scoring with Kessel. And for the Penguins, like I said, cap relief in next year. And then you get uh, a year of Alex Galchenyuk. Maybe you can resign him at, like, a sweetheart deal. I don't want Nick Patan. Yes, God, just simulate past this. Dale, if you pull some shenanigans right now. Okay, good. All right, now I can just blitz through and hopefully make it to the playoffs. All right, we're over kind of 500, and we're going to plummet right back underneath, aren't we? Oh, no, okay, you know. All right. We need, like, big wins against uh, West Coast teams. And there we go, a nice little losing skid to put us probably back underneath. Oh, what a great losing skid. And we break it against uh, Chicago. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Unless the Pacific was just an absolute tire fire, I doubt we are going to make the playoffs. But for argument's sake, let's finish out the season. Two big divisional rival losses, and all righty. 36, 41, and 5, and that is good for absolutely last in the division. It wasn't even close. Okay, is that last in the league? Is this like the first time I've simmed and ended up last with a major team? Oh my god, yes! Thank you, Lou! Thank you, Lou! Oh, Lou Lamorello coming in clutch, and basically the Islanders are going to be last place in the entire league. So can Phil Kessel help the uh, Arizona Coyotes win a cup? No, but he can help them slightly stay off last place by one freaking point. Whoo, okay. Wow, even Ottawa's better than us. Yikes. Where did uh, Pittsburgh end up? Oh my gosh, imagine if Pittsburgh wins the cup. Wait, where's Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh is top six now with Alex Genshin Galchenyuk. Wow. All right, cool. So I guess let's just check the end of the year stats here. 64 points for Kessel, 30 goals. Obviously a dip from his production. Uh, shooting at 11%, so kind of normal. 60. For Keller, 57 for OEL, 45 for Henestroza, 43 for Schmaltz. Stepan with 40, Dvorak, 35. Richard Ponick, 26. Who was a minus 23? Lawson, Krause, and Richardson. You, yikes. All right, goaltending. I assume this also free fell. Uh, 915 actually got slightly better. Darcy Kemper still a tire fire. <laughs> 3, 2, 1, literally. Okay, cool. Nothing changed. Good to know good to know so i guess we can actually just finish by simming to the end of the playoffs and see what happens if pittsburgh wins that would just be so hilarious i know some of you actually kind of want that right now just just imagine okay so 
Plasma determined we are decisively out of it. <laughs> we could sneak into the playoffs. Finishes 20 or 39 or 30th. Yeah, I was going to say 29th, but 30th. We finished 30th. All right. Is Cup going to get awarded in June? No, May 28th. The Cup's getting uh, awarded. Okay. And it's going to. Oh, this is this is this is very dramatic. You know, I just needed to uh, pick a winner right now. That'd be great. But who, pray tell, will the Stanley Cup be joining? It's the Winnipeg Jets. I'm happy with that, man. I'm actually happy with that. You know, good on Winnipeg. Good on them, man. I think they got a cup in their near future. You know, that wouldn't be uh, too, uh, you know, outlandish to say, would it? But let's check out the playoff if the Pittsburgh got to the cup final. Oh, no. Pittsburgh uh, lost to Columbus. All right. And then Columbus beat uh, New Jersey. And then Washington swept them. And wow, Washington... This universe goes out uh, in seven games, almost going back to back. Okay. Interesting. Good on Florida. Look at that. You know, a six game series, but good on them. All right. Who took home some trophies? So, Winnipeg, Carolina. Car Carolina with the President's Trophy? Okay. Interesting. It is, I guess, you know, simulation after all. Tarasenko, Art Ross, Miko Rantanen with the Hart Memorial Trophy, Victor Hedman with the Norris, Lady Bing to Tarasenko. Pedersen with the Calder. Okay, there we go. That's still good. Connor Hellebuck with the Con Smythe. Vesna. Jennings to Peter Mrazek. Bill Master. Jenny Danny to Ka uh, Kaiser. All right. Selkie to Bergeron. Okay, Bergeron Kopitar. Bergeron Kopitar. Bergeron. All right. There you go. Miko Rantanen with the 10 lit. Did Miko Rantanen just pop off this year? I kind of want to quickly go over and see Miko Rantanen's numbers because he popped off apparently. Where, where did he end up? Let's see. Uh, Miko Ren 89 points and he's outstanding. Holy jumping. Are we in 2000 again? That's 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 how we're going to end. All right. Cool. So thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the trade, man. I'm genuinely curious. Uh, who um, won the trade? Who's going to finish better this year? Will Arizona finally make the playoffs? Will Phil Kessel get a good hamburger and hot dog in Arizona? Let me know. I'm producer guy Phil. I will see you in the next one. Stay classy.